Creating a portfolio website to showcase your documents and files is very easy to do with Google Sites. So I'm going to show you how to do that today. We're going to create a new website. Click in the button there. I'm going to name this new website just Portfolio. And as far as the theme, I'm just going to select Terra Water. Create the new site. Once it takes us to the home page, we have the next thing we have to do is upload the files that we're going to be displaying or linking. Um, so we're going to use Google Documents up here in the top left. All these services are provided by Google and Documents is what we need. So you're going to be shown a list of files if you have any. Um, for the purposes of keeping things organized, I recommend that for a specific website like your portfolio website, you click here on My Folders, then you go up here and you create a new folder. In my case, um, my folder will be called Portfolio, just so that all the files that I upload for the Portfolio website be saved to this folder. With Portfolio Highlighter, I'm going to go ahead and click Upload. Then when I'm at the Upload page, I'm going to click on Select Files to Upload. Select all these files by clicking and dragging, hitting Open. And next, I have to choose whether I want to convert documents um, to the corresponding Google Docs formats. Now, this is important. This is important to because a conversion of any Microsoft Office file or whatever the file may be to a Google Docs format will lose uh, a lot of the appearance it has because Google Docs just can't do the conversion, you know, one to one. So you have to decide whether you want the documents to be displayed in your page or whether you want just the documents to be, you know, the original documents to be on the website on Google Documents and then you would just provide a link that people can click and it would open the original office document like for example this article analysis.docx if i choose to not convert it it's going to be saved exactly as it is in google documents and in order for me to be able to share this file i'll simply have to create a link to that file however if i choose to convert all these files not only will i be able to link people to to the file but I will be able to display the file itself within my Google site page you know people wouldn't have to click it would just be load automatically for the purposes of keeping the documents looking exactly as you designed them in Microsoft Office I suggest that you don't convert documents especially because you don't want a user to click on a page on your website and automatically have all these documents load when they might have just wanted to look at one or two so I'm going to choose, with that uh, said, I'll choose a destination folder here, click on Portfolio, click OK, and I'll start the upload. Um, wait for it to finish. It shouldn't be that long. Office files are tend to be small. Once it's done, all you go is up here, back to Google Docs. You click. So what you're shown now is a list of all the files you just uploaded. So we're going to go back to the Google Sites, and I'm going to create a page uh, where I'm going to put my memos. So I'll call the page memos. And now in the page editor here, which you should be put into automatically, I'm going to type, just for the sake of this example, memo assignment one. I'm going to highlight it. But before I you know, highlight it, but now I have to get the download link for, for, for the memo, for the first memo that I'm going to link. So I go back to Google Docs. I look for the, for the file I want. I click it. And this is this is a preview this is what it's gonna load what document looks like so now that that's important to me because all I need is this download link where it says download so I'm gonna in Firefox at least you can just right click on the link and then copy link location that's gonna copy whatever you were gonna click if you would have clicked where, wherever that would have taken you it's gonna put it in your clipboard so we're gonna go back to the website I'm gonna highlight what I want the download link to be I'll link it up here click on web address and I'm gonna paste whatever was my clipboard this is the this is the download link for my file so I'm gonna click OK and it's done so I'm gonna save it and there it is so if I click on this file it's automatically gonna prompt me to download my assignment one memo so I'm gonna open it just to show you that it works and there it is the first file that's exactly how you link two files in Google Sites you do this for all your files um, 
just make sure that the files stay in the same folder. I don't know how Google Documents keeps tra keeps track of that. But if I if you were to move this file, let's say, to another folder, you might have to update the download link. Maybe, maybe not. I haven't tested it. Just keep that in mind. So that's how you create your portfolio website using Google Sites. It's very simple.